Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Sarah McClay from The White Bride, published by University of Tampa Press in 2008. The poem I'm going to read from this collection is Figure in Permanent Field. There were too many endings. Beginnings grew less clear, and here, after all, was the second half of things. You won't remember this now, but later you knew me. It was in that dream of the other country still ahead. Perhaps you had come across me in that strange way of yours, protective, awkward, intense, even as I worked at the small desk just beyond the landing, even as you entered with your flask, and though you barely spoke, I felt your blessing. You say you never gave one, but you did. I can tell now what I was doing in that field where you saw me sleeping. It was all I wanted, to be lying there in white. It was all I wanted for a long time. Unless, that is, the kite you saw suspended from my wrist began eventually to lift me. Meanwhile, I was the counterweight. Meanwhile, I could sleep, but I'd have to let it take me anywhere. It was a chance. Uh, that was Sarah McClay, Figure in Permanent Field, from The White Bride, published by University of Tampa Press in 2008. If you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the video, uh, well, the description of the video, for more information about, uh, well, more information about uh, Sarah McClay, as well as more information about the, uh, the book and where to purchase it, and more information about other projects and series I'm working on. Uh, as always, it is delight and uh, a pleasure to read for you and to share uh, contemporary poets and their poems to expand our understanding of what's out there and perhaps to discover something within us that wants to write as well. I'm uh, thankful for technology that allows me to do this from the comfort of my own home. Um, all the way up in Canada, in Saskatchewan, um, I can read and connect with each of you wherever you are, anywhere in the world, at any time. Um, so here's to technology that lets us do that. And uh, here's to the creative journeys that you're on. I hope that you're finding joy and excitement and uh, opportunities to, to grow and learn as you move forward in your, your own progress, well, tackling whatever you're writing, whatever you're creating. Um, and if this inspires you to, to turn to the work of others, and that's even better, uh, it's, it's always part of a larger conversation that we're in every time we write and every time we read um, allows us to connect to a wider and wider world. And I'm thankful for the power of poetry that allows us to do that. So here's to each of us in our own creative pursuits. Um, we'll be back again soon, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And um, if you want to support us, just hit the like button, uh, the thumbs up button, or subscribe to the channel, or comment below, or share these videos on social media as links. All these things help uh, celebrate these poems and draw more attention to these wonderful poets. And I hope in some small way encourages even more people to write and to create. So uh, we'll be back again in a few days with another poem and another reading. Till then, stay safe and well and keep doing the work you're doing to build community and to create beauty in the world. Till then, be safe um, and see you soon.